The Curwood Acorns, written by Bez Beck, illustrated by Susan DeWeese. Copyright Mousegate Press, 2020. This book is dedicated to my mother, Dorothy. One fall day in Green Meadows Park, the wind was blowing the mighty oak tree where many years ago, James Oliver Kerwood was believed to have sat and wrote some of his short stories. Acorns were falling from its branches. They were blanketed by the oak leaves. The sun was shining brighter than ever. A magic touch of thunder and lightning flashed through the yellow sun. The acorns under that very tree were given something special. They were given the gift of life. They began wandering about, tired and confused, and quickly fell asleep. The adult acorns were yawning and stretching, looking all around them. Something warm and wonderful started to happen. They were being splashed. Tiny drops of rain were falling on their little acorn heads. Grandpa Acorn reached out to catch the drops. He noticed that the green from his hand got brighter as the rain splashed it. The little acorns became livelier in the pouring rain. They shuffled under the fallen leaves. The babies began moving about in their sleep. Cave and Acorn looked at Grandma and Grandpa. What's happening, he said. It's coming from up there. Isn't it wonderful, said Grandpa as he pointed to the sky. They stuck their heads out, letting the soft drops of rain fall on their faces. Caven got a splash in his eye. He blinked and laughed. They stretched out together under the leaves, listening to the raindrops above them. The sound of soft splashes soon put them to sleep again. The snoozing little acorns could now be heard ever so faintly throughout the park. Grandpa was snoring and the baby acorns were sighing. They had no knowledge of the big, wonderful world that they would soon get to know. As Cave and Acorn began stretching and yawning, waking up from a long sleep, he heard a strange sound. It seemed like a very close sound. He crawled out from under his leaf. It was a very nice sound. Caven began swaying to its beat. His little feet started stepping to the music. Grandma and Grandpa Acorn began dancing around beside him. They were laughing and having fun. Drayden Acorn came out from under his leaf and joined them. The babies were starting to wake up. Ma and Pa Acorn laughed and danced too. Some of the other acorns sat up and clapped their hands to the music. What a nice thing to wake up to, said Drayden. They kicked up their feet and clapped their little hands. As Caven and Annette Acorn twirled around, they spotted a sandbox in the distance. They wanted to see what was in there. As they got closer, they discovered something lost and all alone. A tiny pink plastic kitten was laying on its side looking at Annette. She sat the little kitten upright.
Wow, look, said Caven. A toy truck was buried halfway in the sand. Caven picked it up, discovering more toys in the big surprise sandbox. The acorns laughed and played until it was time to go back to their leaves under the big oak tree. They all fell fast asleep, anxious for a new day.